Hey guys, today we are testing dash cam. This is the box, and inside you will find all all that you expect from a box with a dash cam. So you have the camera itself, you have the USB cable, USB charger, you have uh, some um, prying tools, you have user manual, and uh, there's no SD card inside. So you have to provide your own SD card. It's an easy installation. All you need to do is stick it to the windscreen. Maybe I will show you that. So the installation is very easy. All you need to do is stick it to your windscreen, connect USB cable, guide it to your to your 12 volt outlet or to your cabin fuse box. If you want to hardwire it, then turn the power on. There's a Wi-Fi connection that you need to connect with using your phone, download an app and all the settings are done from the application. Okay, so let me show you how the camera looks. Okay, so this is it. It's barely visible. As you can see, there's the lens, it's full HD, there's no buttons on it other than the reset button, there's a microphone, there's a status LED, uh, SD card port and a built-in speaker. There's no battery inside, but there, there's a super capacitor instead. Okay, so ah, let's go back inside. Okay, so when it comes to dash cams, you want to know two things. Um, how much does it cost and how good is the video quality. So this is the price currently and here's some sample footage that I've collected um, over the past few days. So, as can you see, if there's enough light, the image is very sharp. If you go too fast, if there's, uh, if it's too dark, it will get a little bit blurry, which can be um, uh, challenging when trying to read uh, license plates, for example, of a passing car. Okay, so I said that there's a built-in microphone, so let's test it, test it out. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And another thing, this is called DDPi Mini. I thought that this is called DDPi, but when you turn the ignition on and when the camera turns on itself, you will hear that in fact it's called Hello, Ding Ding Pi. Ding Ding Pi. I'm not sure why. Final thoughts, pros and cons. First thing of all, the small form factor is very cool and the fact that it's so close to the windscreen and the USB port is over here so you don't have some kind of strange hanging cables all over there. Also the cable is about three and a half meter long so it's more than enough to guide the cable all around your car under your trim and you have it uh, right, where you, well, right where you need it. Notice that the USB charger is a double port, so you don't have to sacrifice your only 12 volt outlet if you want to charge your phone at the same time. Camera adjustment is also very cool. You just need to twist it and you can even rotate it almost all the way around. And in my case, I have the rear view mirror because I want this camera to be hidden. I don't want to look at it. I don't want it to abstract my view. But if you had it in a different position, you can quickly rotate it to um, record your car's interior. For example, when, uh, when you are driving, you are using it this way. And when your car is parked and you want to use the parking monitoring, you set it like this. I said that there's an application and there is one 
here's an Android phone with the uh, DDPi or Ding Ding Pi application and we have a live view over here. We can also um, drag this like this or drag this like this to go through the uh, through the record uh, recording gallery and once you select one of those videos it will buffer and you will see it on your phone's screen of course you can also take out the take out the memory card from the uh, camera itself connect it to a computer or put it inside a, a mobile phone to uh, view it directly not uh, wirelessly there are some settings over here you can adjust the volume Oh, it's very loud, it's very loud. Here's an iPhone with the iOS version of the application and as can you see, I have no live preview over here. So I believe that the iOS app need, needs some work, some updates. I can still browse the gallery. I can go to emergency videos. Also, since the camera has no buttons, you will rely on the G sensor if it goes for the uh, emergency emergency videos and over here in settings you will find something like voice control by but i have no idea how to use it there's no mention of it in the user manual i don't know what are the correct commands for the camera to <clears throat> for example take a uh, photo or um, uh, or save a video as an emergency so that's uh, that's a little bit annoying that i know that there's a voice feature but i don't know how to use it because there's no information about it oh one more thing if you want to use the um, if you want to use the parking mode you will have to wire it to a constant power source so um, this cigarette lighter is ignition hot when i turn off the ignition you will hear that the camera turns off and the parking mode is not working right now so if you want to use the parking mode you will have to wire it to your fuse box and find some uh, fuse box that's uh, always hot okay so that was a uh, ddi pi or ding ding pi mini camera here you can uh, get it for 39.99 on uh, tomtop uh, website if you are interested in a technical specification check the description below this video also and give me a thumbs up if you like this simple test and review and see you soon in future ones.